As part of efforts to reposition the Nigerian army for improved civil military relations, the Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Tukubura Tai has ordered the Nigerian Army Corps in Port Harcourt to investigate the alleged assault of freedom or deity by soldiers. The order followed the fundamental rights suit against Captain Kingsley Okwani and others alleging torture of freedom or deity by soldiers of the 3rd Battalion in Efurun of Delta State. A statement by Captain Akin Tibubo asked the alleged victim to provide relevant documents and other proofs to enhance investigation into the incident. Meanwhile, the Executive Director for the Center for the Vulnerable and Underprivileged, Ogene Jabo Ikimi, noted that investigation will promote respect for human rights. Nasarawa State Governor Tanko Almakura has described the election in 13 local government areas of the state as orderly and peaceful. The governor stated this to journalists after casting his vote at the Lungun Wambai polling units in Lafia, the state capital. This is the second local government elections in the Governor Tanko Almakura led administration. 22 political parties participated in the exercise. Authorities at the Lagos State Waterways are praising passengers aboard two boats which collided for wearing life jackets. Lagos State Waterways Management Director Damilola Emanuel revealed that the life jackets prevented the loss of lives. A boat fully loaded with 22 persons aboard and another with just the captain and deckhand had collided and capsized into the Ojo area of the state. One boat was heading to Ojo from the Liverpool area, while the other was making a return trip from the same location. The last white boats disclosed that authorities had distributed 1,500 life jackets in 2017 and January 2018 as part of efforts to protect passengers on the waterways. It promised that more life jackets will be distributed, appealing to passengers to insist on wearing their suits before embarking on any journey on the water. Thunderstorms and torrential rain have swept across parts of southern Britain with lightning flashing across the sky. Around 15,000 lightning strikes were recorded in four hours. Authorities say that Stansted Airport reported delays to flights after a lightning strike briefly left its aircraft fueling system unavailable. The Meteorological Office issued a yellow warning for heavy rains and flooding across Wales and most of England. Crews worked until the early hours of Sunday morning to extinguish the fire, though no injuries were reported in the incident. And later in the morning, storms brought more than an inch of rain to parts of Wales and the Midlands in one hour.